Hello everyone, this is Punk's Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we're going to show you one more useful sewing technique. We're going to show you how to make a drawstring casing. We are making a blouse for Ola. This is one of the sleeves. We're going to make a drawstring casing and insert an elastic in it. You can make a drawstring casing only when the sleeve is ready for stitching. You should be sure about the width of the sleeve. It's even to the length of the drawstring casing. Let's start working. Be very attentive. We're going to use an elastic of the needed width and a stripe of cambric. This detail is 1.5 cm wide. We are making the drawstring casing of cambric because the main fabric is stronger. If you are making a gamut of cambric or chiffon, you can cut a stripe of fabric for the drawstring casing of the same fabric. Let's start working. First, we need to draw where drawstring casing is going to be placed. 12 cm up from the sleeve bottom. We are drawing a regular straight line. Next, we need to stitch the inside sleeve seam, edge it with a novel locker and iron it. The width of the seam is 5 mm. The seam is that tight because it will be seen in the lower part of the sleeve, the flounce. If you are making a gamut of fabrics which are not that strong, chiffon or cambric for example, you can edge the seams with a French hem. As I've already said, in our case, the fabric is too strong for making French hem. This is why we are making a tight seam which will be edged with the novel locker. Natalie is edging the seam with the novel locker. In our case, it's just 5 mm wide, just like it's needed for edging it with the novel locker. The edge seam looks pretty good. Let's go to the ironing desk. Iron the seam gently. Next, it should be pressed close towards the back. Natalie is ironing the seam from the right side. Please, be very attentive. We don't recommend ironing the seams from the right side with the household irons. The sleeve is ready. Let's get back to working with the drawstring casing. Have a look at the way Natalie is ironing the drawstring casing. In our case, the stripe of fabric is 1 by 5 cm wide. It's that wide because of the fact that the elastic is pretty tight. It's just 5 mm wide. If the elastic you are working with is wider, the stripe of fabric you are making, a drawstring casing off, should be wider as well. Have a close look at what Natalie is doing. She is pressing the edges close towards the center of the drawstring casing. This is how the detail looks like now. We've pressed the both edges towards the center of the detail. What makes a drawstring casing different from the bias binding is that it should be cut either on the crosswise or the lengthwise grain. Have a close look at the inside sleeve seam. It was stitched, edged with a novel locker and pressed close towards the back. This is how the drawstring casing looks like now. It's a bit longer than needed. Natalie is going to cut the extra piece. Next, the drawstring casing should be tacked to the sleeve. 
It's very important for the sides of the drawstring casing to be beautiful and decorate. Natalie is taking the drawstring casing to the sleeve. Have a close look at the way she is taking the detail. Make tiny, accurate stitches. Please, be accurate and attentive. Don't be lazy. The technique is the same for making such details on the shoulders, on the neckline, on the sleeves, and even at the bottom. We're using this sleeve just as an example. You can actually make such details wherever you want. This is a very useful technique for making accurate, beautiful flounces. Fold and tack the ends in such way that they match. We've tacked one of the sides of the drawstring casing. We're not going to tack the other side. You can do it if you want to. Next, we need to stitch the drawstring casing. The width of the seam is 1 mm. Please be very careful and attentive. Do not forget to fix the seam in the end. The other side should be stitched the same way. We've stitched the drawstring case into the sleeve. Iron it very carefully. We've drawn the line with a pen, which removes when being ironed. This is why there are no marks here. Natalie's work is perfect, as always. The sleeves will be edged with rolled hem. We're not going to show you how to do it. We are talking about the drawstring casing now. The only thing left for us to do is to insert an elastic here. Natalie is going to use the most simple technique for inserting elastics. Attach a pin to the end of the elastic and insert it in the drawstring casing. Make sure that you are working accurately. When taking the measurements for sewing the blouse, we've also measured the wrist circumference. It should be measured not with a measuring tape, but with an elastic itself. Cut an elastic of the needed size right after that. Next, we need to stitch the two ends of the elastic together. This is a must. Do not forget to do it. The stitched point should be hidden inside of the drawstring casing. 
If the elastic you are working with is flat, make sure that it doesn't get twisted in the drawstring casing. The sleeve looks very nice. There is the drawstring casing attached to the wrong side, and there are just the two seams on the right side. This is the sleeve with the drawstring casing and the elastic inserted in it. We showed you a very useful technique. You can decorate not only the sleeves, but also the necklines, the bottom of the garments this way. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. We're Ira and Natalie. Subscribe to this channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.